Now we're going to talk to Christine Bracco from uh, CarMD.com uh, about the 2014 uh, Vehicle Health Index. How are you, Christine? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Uh, I can't believe uh, we've done this three years already. So I, I think you're the first guest that has been on three annual editions. So thank you very much for that. Absolutely. Happy to help. Thank you, thank you. So, um, as, as always, this is a very important uh, report because it tells about how we should take care of the of the car once we bought it and drove it and, and enjoyed it. So it's a it's like a key factor in like maintaining the car and getting good use of it. So, what's new in this report for 2014? Well, unfortunately, CarMD, uh, the Vehicle Health Index, found that for the second year in a row, car repair costs are up. They're up about seven percent. Um, and that was on top of a 10% rise the year before. Wow. Um, most, mostly in regard to uh, labor. Labor's up 13%. Parts are only up 3%. So uh, we just want to remind drivers that as costs rise, it's important to fix the little things quickly because they can add up very quickly um, on today's high-tech cars. Yeah, so how, as, as we have uh, said in, in the previous years, I mean, uh, especially the check engine light. Actually, a friend of mine posted a picture on Facebook yesterday about a Mini with the, with the engine light on. She had no idea what it was, and she was asking, what should I do? And like, everybody's going, like, go to the dealership, take it to the shop. Well, get CarMD first. We have that product. It's a handheld device for consumers where you can actually plug it in and tell in a matter of minutes what's wrong with the car. Um, and as we've talked about before, Sometimes it's just a loose gas cap, and people are so afraid that it's going to be something really expensive, and sometimes the fix is just fill up the tank and click, click the cap. So, you know, it's important not to be afraid of that light. Yeah, so tell me a little bit more about the, the device or the service that Karen Dix uh, provides about telling you exactly that diagnostic of the car. What, what is that again, please? Yeah, so CarMD offers a handheld device. Um, you can go to carmd.com to see about it or purchase it. And um, we're basically allowing your average driver to plug the device into your car. It's right by the driver's underneath the steering wheel. And you turn the ignition in just a few seconds, you get beeps to tell you that the tool spoke with the car. And it's pulling data from your car's computer. And then when that check engine light is on or the airbag light is on, we can tell you why. You plug it into your computer, your Mac or your PC, and you get a full report that tells you what the problem is, what the parts and labor are, um, what you do and don't need to fix your car, and then um, if there's any recalls or service bulletins. So when you talk about the dealership, if you have a recall or a service bulletin, you probably want to go back and get it repaired at the dealership because it's likely going to be free. Yeah. If it's something small like a gas cap, you fix it yourself, or an oxygen sensor, you can maybe buy it at the local parts store. And then if it's something serious like a transmission or a catalytic converter, you're going to need to go you know, to your favorite repair shop. Oh, yeah. Um, I wouldn't call it favorite, but like, you prefer. Mm -hmm. like. <laughs> so, uh, 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 how much is that device? The device is in the $100 range, you know, like $120 tops, and uh, you can use it for the life of your car. You can just go to the dealership or the used car lot and check every car on the lot and look at the little lights that tell you green, yellow, red if anything's wrong. And then when there is a severe problem on your car, you can run a full report um, from CarMD and see what's wrong. So what's great about CarMD compared to like the code readers and the little products that you'd get at the local auto parts store is that we've got the data behind it. And that's why we put out the CarMD oh, index. Yeah, For yeah, yeah. 20 years, we've been collecting data and we've got the most data out there on car repair, especially when the check engine light's on. So every year with the index, we track trends. Like this year, we noticed temperature extremes. It was one of the hottest years on record in the summer. And then in the winter, of course, we all know, you know, with the polar vortex. Wow. We're, starti we're starting to see um, battery and thermostat repairs really um, rising in terms of quantity. And we just want people to remember if it's really, really, really hot or really, really cold, you may need to replace your battery or other parts of the car 
a little bit more frequently. So don't be mad at the dealership if they say, hey, you really need to replace this in two years instead of three. Yeah. Um, because you'd much rather spend the 100 bucks to, to replace the part than to be stranded on the road in a really hot or a really cold day. Uh, and uh, are you seeing an effect of uh, on um, batteries for hybrid on electric cars because of this, or is maybe too early to know about that? Or just the yeah, battery? Um, I mean, normally, it, it's um, the hybrid battery is going to fail due to age, but it's important for people who are thinking about buying a hybrid to remember those batteries are fairly costly. Now, the good news is in the last four years, those prices have come down by, uh, you know, over 50%. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Every year, the more hybrids there are on the road and the more people that buy them and the more people there are to, to, to work on them, the prices just keep coming down and down. So you're looking at about $2,800 to replace a hybrid battery. It's just something you need to factor into your car buying decision. Yeah. And uh, one more question about the handheld device from CarMD. Car um, is that specific to a car, let's say, so you buy one and then you keep it for that car or you can keep it uh, when you buy a new car? No, you can transfer it. You can quick check an unlimited number of cars, and then the CarMD device allows you to register three household vehicles for those detailed reports. Oh, I and see. And then if you sell your car and buy a new one, you just replace it with the new one and re-register. There's no fees. Um, there are optional premium upgrades, but it's not required to get the information you need to know what's wrong with your car. So oh. it's for the life of all of your cars. Excellent. And another thing about the weather, are you uh, seeing the prices in these areas where it's more extreme, the, the, the hot weather and the cold weather, are the prices going up there uh, at the same rate, I guess? I mean, uh, do you see the most uh, increase of the prices in those areas? We've actually seen prices rise um, the most in the Midwest um, and a little bit in the Northeast. Uh, those prices are going up much more than in the in the West or in the South where it's a little bit warmer. So, um, you know, it, there's a lot of factors involved, the type of repairs, how long they take to repair, um, how long you wait and put off the repairs. But um, we're definitely seeing the temperature extremes play a part. So it's very important to catch things early before they cost you extra money. Yeah. And uh, are there any new... Uh trends in like things that are going wrong with the cars in in other aspects or like uh, what are people ignoring in in the, in the room when they see the lights um i mean the most the most common thing that goes wrong with with the car is an oxygen sensor and so that's So, you know, you ignore that, and it can turn into a catalytic converter failure. Um, you know, it's, it's very, very important to pay attention to, um, you know, the little things that turn on that check engine light because they can snowball very quickly into repairs. Um, you know, there's also, um, on newer cars, there's a lot of new parts, like, for instance, throttle position sensors, um, yeah. which probably don't mean a lot to you and I, but um, it's just new things that they're adding on, on cars um, that are now starting to fail a little more frequently, like uh, replace TPS um, is on our top 25, and it's never been there before. So, you know, you'll have things like... Uh, Uh, it used to be really common to have an aftermarket battery or an aftermarket alarm cause um, the yeah. check engine light to come on. Now that everybody's putting alarms in the cars, like all the manufacturers want it for you know safety and for theft, um, they're offering that pretty stock. Um, now there's new things you know that are starting to go wrong on cars, like airbags and um, and TPMS or, or and TPS. So. Uh, just important to be aware of what you're buying and how many bells and whistles it has because all those things can start to break. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately you only have like two more minutes, but uh, we've seen a lot of recalls, especially with the GM thing, and Toyota just announced another uh, recall for six million cars. Any new recommendations on that sense? Well, CarMD is able to track recalls, and we definitely see trends related to recalls because when that recall announcement comes out, you know, people immediately go and have their cars replaced at least or those parts replaced for safety at least we hope that's the case but like yeah. for instance 
GM was in the news with the replace ignition switch, and we noticed that last year 61.5% of um, replace ignition switch repairs were on GM vehicles. Now, that's not a high quantity still, but it's just important to know that that's a trend that we're able to track, and you know, there were, there were uh, recalls in the news just this week, and we'll start to monitor that next year because you'll start to see all those cars get brought in, and we just encourage people. Recalls are not a bad thing. You need to just be sure to, yeah. Follow up. to yeah. get it handled. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for the information. Again, uh, Christine, uh, Christine Bradford from uh, carmd.com, and again, the website is just that, right? carmd.com, and they, our audience can go there and check all this uh, great information. Absolutely, C-A-R-M as in Mary, D as in doctor, and, uh, you know, just we encourage people to pay attention to those little things, especially with all the spring and summer road trips you're going to be taking. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time again, Christine, and uh, talk to you so